Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is the appearing part seven. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Matthew chapter 24 verse 8. In Matthew chapter 24, Jesus talked about the signs of his coming. He started by pointing to the buildings of the temple in verse 1. And the disciples were so shocked when he told them in verse 2 that all of the temple with all the huge stones and beautiful uh, stones would be thrown down. And that led to a question, actually a two-in-one question from the disciples in verse 3, when they said, tell us, when shall be these things? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And then Jesus gave them also a twofold answer because they were tying the end of the world to the destruction of the temple of Jerusalem. But there were to be two different events. And Jesus actually gave them answers. After he described the destruction of Jerusalem, which happened in AD 70, he went on to state some things that will be happening just before he comes. And one of the things he said was that the disciples or his followers in the time of the end should beware of deception. In three verses in this chapter alone, he talked about deception. Verse 4, verse 11, and verse 24. Let me just read them quickly. Verse 4, quote, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 11, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Verse 24, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall shew great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. End of quote. Many people today do not put into consideration the possibility of being deceived. They swallow everything that comes, hook, line, and sinker. The English word for that kind of attitude towards spiritual things will be gullibility. And it is very dangerous to be gullible. So how do we guide against this in preparation for the appearing? We guide against this by studying our Bible prayerfully and following the teachings of the Lord rather than the assumptions and the doctrines of men. As we prepare, God is going to help us with his Holy Spirit and with his holy angels to impress upon our hearts the truth. And that's why we need to pray now. Our Father in heaven, we give you glory and honor and adoration. We praise you. There is none holy as you. We pray that you will help us to begin to study the Bible, to know for ourselves how Christ will come, to know his teachings so that we will not be deceived, so that our hearts will be completely yours. And when you come again, we'll be ready to go home with you. May this be our experience, even today. In Jesus' name, amen.